Boss, a Soviet engineer is being held prisoner at the Wat Sin barracks. You need to find him and get him out. He tried to defect from the base camp up north, but it didn't work out. Now they're holding him at Wat Sin. He's offered his technical skills to us as long as we can guarantee his safety. You have to extract the target. consider him a traitor now, so he'll be treated like any other prisoner. Enemy presence, the map has been updated. will rise momentarily. I had the R&D team <gasps> analyze the honeybee. How? The CIA wanted it with everything intact. They took it apart to look at it, then they put it back together. Everything intact. <laughs> That's the R&D boys, all right. Turns out the honeybee's homing capabilities are a cut above previous manpaths. It can detect a broad range of infrared wavelengths, and even ultraviolet for supplementary guidance. Hence the name, huh? Right. Honeybees rely on UV light to fly. With this device, flares don't do the target any good. That's why the Soviets are losing so many gunships, and why the CIA was so desperate to get it back. It wasn't just about preventing the Soviets from devising countermeasures. What if the likes of Iran got their hands on it? American aircraft would be put at risk, too. We can use this tech to develop our own portable missile. That'll give us a huge advantage. It'll take a little time before the analysis results can be applied to actual implementation. But we'll keep moving with the research. has a new government. The man is really working hard for her country to be reborn. Good for them. She says she wishes Chico could be there. That revolution was the dream. Caution. For Amanda. For Chico. And their father. 
That chopper was no place for Chico to die. I'd like to at least think history will remember his part in the revolution. When you pick up a gun, there's always a chance you'll die for nothing. He knew that as well as the rest. Now that he's gone, it's up to the rest of us to decide what it was all worth. If we don't, there's nothing to prove that Chico ever lived at all. Where is Mark on the world? Amanda told us that Strangelove contacted her after the revolutionaries came to power in Nicaragua. Strangelove? The AI researcher from Mother Base? I remember her. We'd lost touch with her. Until Amanda heard from her out of the blue. She told Amanda she wanted to salvage Peace Walker's drive parts or something from the bottom of Lake Nicaragua. Amanda passed the request on to her friends in the new administration. She's a national hero now, after all. So Strangelove got a Soviet military aircraft to transport something to somewhere. But apparently the cargo wasn't big enough to have been Peace Walker itself. So what was it? Who knows? We recovered Peace Walker's nuclear warhead ourselves nine years ago. What could Strangelove have been after? Amanda said she didn't mention what her reason was or where she was headed. Nicaragua is a socialist state now. Close. With Amanda Attention. vouching for her, the government didn't feel the need to concern itself with the details. All Strangelove told Amanda was that she was going to continue her research, and that the rest was a secret. Right before the attack, Huey was in the control tower to prepare for the inspectors. He was with them when it all went down. The control tower collapsed with the rest of its strut. His body was never recovered. But he was the one who met the inspection party when they arrived. And he was the one who showed the nuclear inspectors to the tower. You remember the way it went. First, he recommends we agree to the inspection. Then he gives them the okay without our permission, all the time acting as if he was doing us a favor. On top of that, he even had the guards disarmed that day. It would send the wrong message, he said. Whatever the angle, it all leads back to Huey. I curse my own stupidity for not realizing sooner. Huey escaped with that unit by Chopper. I've been hunting him for nine long years. The other reason I was operating around Afghanistan was to dig up his location. Huey's in Afghanistan? Yes. And I have a good idea where. Now we just wait for the right moment. We'll be the ones using him. He's going to tell us who our guests really were that used a fake nuclear inspection to blast our home into the ocean. That's the target. What you move. Looks like we found him. What this? Yeah, you voice tell off. It's a mush devil. Обычные протезы. Это скучно. The objective is to rescue and extract a Mujahid captured by the Soviets. He's being held in the ruins of Lamar Khati Palace, as are a lot of POWs. Civilians, guerrillas, suspected guerrillas. The Soviets have turned the place into their own black site. However, we've only been asked to rescue one of the prisoners. He's known as Malak, 
angel to his fellow Mujahideen. The client is none other than his father. Or rather, this was his father's dying wish. You were hospitalized in Dekelia, a British sovereign base area on Cyprus. It's part of British overseas territory that falls outside of Cypriot jurisdiction. You got moved from Cuba's little America right into Cyprus's yeah. little Britain. Why Dekelia? The UK and the US remain close allies. The last place Cypher would think to look for you is inside their own system. That's what kept you safe in British Military Hospital for nine years. The safest place from a whale is inside its own belly. You were a regular Geppetto. Well, it wasn't Pinocchio who led me out to safety. So who was that guy? Cypher went so far as to attack British territory, burning their own ally. That's how badly they wanted you dead. Enemy presence detected. He said I was in a British military hospital. But the doctor had a Greek accent. They hire locally. Easier to trust them. The Kelly is also home to Greek Cypriots, after all. What about the Turks? They haven't returned to the south. Not yet. The Cyprus dispute is still a long way from resolved. The country is just as split as it was in 74. Turkish Cypriots in the north, Greek Cypriots in the south. Between them, the Green Line, the UN established. And the Kelly is yeah. right on top of it. It does. Part of the buffer zone between the two groups. Another reason it was the perfect place to hide you. Easy to spot any outsiders snooping around. So how do they stand? Now, last year, the Turks declared that the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus is an independent state. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Your mission is to rescue a prisoner being held at Lamarchate Palace. He's known as Malak, angel to his fellow Mujahideen. Start by checking the targets in the eye on your eye droid. The Soviets captured him and took him to the ruins of the palace. His family was subsequently killed in an airstrike on his village. The Soviets scorched Earth operation wiped it off the map. The client is none other than his father. Or rather, this was his father's dying wish. If you can manage to rescue other prisoners as well, each one will add a bonus to our pay. When you see them, I'm sure your conscience will tell you what to do. The map has been updated. Marker placed. Yeah. The map has been updated. The target the should be somewhere in that updated. outbox. shortly.
prisoner you extracted knew where the target is. The target Malak was sent to a different outpost. I've sent the information to your map screen. I need more information to pinpoint the location. The map has been updated. We were lucky to get our hands on that cyborg arm developer. There's no one in Diamond Dogs who can so much as maintain that thing. Bionic arm, not cyborg, if you go by what he calls it. But you're right, the East is light years ahead in bionics. They can even detect through the skin the slight electrical signals from the brain that order muscles to move. The Soviet Union completed their first bionic arm capable of doing that back in the 60s. Although I guess that news didn't really reach the West. No kidding. Zdornov's was the only one I ever saw. Quite a shock to see it for the first time. And it was no mean feat to get hold of Snake's arm. I couldn't get one for you at the time, but you know, now... Forget it. I've no intention of relying on bionics. Right now I need to keep the pain fresh in my mind. Well, it's your decision. But don't you find it... inconvenient? Not a bit. But the phantom pain... It never lets up. Do you know how many men I saw die that day? There's nothing we can do to bring them back. And you expect me to care about getting a measly arm and leg back? Sorry. But my pain belongs to all our dead comrades. I'll keep living with it for their sake. It'll guide me straight and true until I've gotten them the vengeance they deserve.
updated. The map has been updated. There, that's the target. Ah, badly wounded. We can rule out a full extraction. We'll just have to do it by chopper. Call the chopper from your iDroid boss, then carry the target to it. The map has been updated. This is the on station at LZ! Target extracted. Exfiltrate the hot zone, boss. Gaining altitude! Mission is updated. Buddy, departing area of operations. Enemy presence detected. Departing. The map has been updated. Boss, that target you extracted, Malak, is saying that he's never heard of our client. What's more, he says his village was destroyed long before he was ever taken prisoner. Apparently it fell victim to some sort of disease, then was completely burned to the ground. Malak was out on a mission at the time, and that's the reason why he alone survived. But the question is... Who hired us to find him? According to Malik, he saw strange soldiers snooping around the village when he got back. Turns out they were members of Cypher Strike Force XOF. My theory is they wanted to get their hands on Malik to question or silence him before the Soviets could get to him. Cypher was just using us to cover things up. All that crap about Malik's relative was a front to convince us to retrieve him. But an entire colony just wiped off the map. It sounds a lot like the Hami during the Honeybee incident. All I know, boss, is there's no way in hell I'm handing Malik over to Cypher. I've decided to bring him back to Mother Base instead. He's one of us now. We told the client through a cutout that the target was killed. For some reason, though, they still paid us everything we were owed. Cypher's obviously up to something, and this is probably just another preemptive cleanup operation to them. But to Malik, he lost his village, his family, everything, and he wants his revenge. In other words, he's one of us. This contract comes from a rebel guerrilla faction in Afghanistan. They've gotten wind of a rare meeting between three Soviet commanders running key units in the region. The location is Viala Village. This information comes from a mole planted within the Soviet's Arab support organization. The guerrillas see this as a one-of-a-kind chance to weaken the Soviet forces in one stroke. But if they act themselves, it'll expose the existence of their mole. That's why this job falls to us. The request is simple. Eliminate the three pigs, by any means. If these commanders are as good as they say, it'd be a shame to kill them. But I leave that decision up to you.